basically we're going to spend the next about 45 minutes to an hour just going through uh, GTA imaging and a little bit about our Rose software and um, by the end of the seminar you guys should feel a little more comfortable using the Rose software and placing orders as well as you know who to contact about uh, different things that type of thing so let's just go through here and I'm just going to switch something up here I'm gonna share my screen here one sec here sorry I'm just trying to um, there we go get the screen changed so here's our agenda for the day there's going to be two parts uh, the first part being the uh, introduction to GTA imaging and then the second part being about ROSE and ROSE software. At the end of each section, uh, I'll open up the floor to any questions and answers and I, uh, I encourage you, you can um, take yourself off mute and uh, ask any questions that you may have. So, um, so let's start with the welcome email. Um, this is something that you receive as soon as you um, become a uh, customer with us. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like. I'll just get that up on the screen. There we go. So in your welcome email, you're going to get this lovely email and you're going to have your account number here. Uh, this will be either, you know, a four or five digit number. And you're going to need that number to be able to log into the Rose software and uh, and access all of the pricing and stuff through there. So some very important things to know in this email is we have our price list right over here to the left. Uh, the um, link to download the Rose software, a uh, link to our product templates, and um, some information about support. And we'll go through each of those in a couple of minutes. So there's also some great information. I'm not going to read it all out right now, but uh, definitely read your email. Uh, to, it talks about, you know, the different categories, the ordering instructions, you know, what color correction means, what ready to print means. And we also have the studio sample program, which is on page seven of the price list. So when you click on the price list, it's going to take you over to a web page where you can download a PDF copy. Where has that gone? There we go. And again, I'll just show you what that looks like as well. Get that going here. There we go. So it's pretty intensive. I mean, it's about 80 pages or so, but uh, it, it's very comprehensive. It goes through all of our products that we have and all different information about the product. So I'm just going to skip through here. So we've got our table of contents here. So we organize our products into different categories. Uh, we have, you know, prints, which is under photographic, display mounts, and then we get into canvas, fine art prints, press products. Press products are things like our cards, our um, we have boutique cards, soft cover books, our avenue book, you know, proof books, those types of things. And then it gets into albums. And uh, albums is basically our Renzo line. Um, sometimes they're referred to as a lay flat album, but that's basically what those are. We also have lots of different types of boxes and folios. We have, you know, USB drives and boxes, CD cases, print boxes, presentation boxes, and um, some really wonderful Ashwood boxes as well, which is a little more higher end, finer type of stuff, finer art type stuff. So we'll just continue through here. Um, if my sound is cutting out, I do apologize. I just got a notice saying that my sound might be cutting out. Um, please let me know. There is a chat uh, thing at the bottom. If you can't hear me, please let me know. Um, so the first part of the price list just talks a little bit about us and what we do, where we're located. Um, we're located in Toronto in the North York part. Um, we have a wonderful lab that you're more than welcome to come and visit. And um, it's... Uh, if you're not available to come, that's okay too, of course. Um, we ship across Canada, and uh, we are also a proud member of the Professional Photographers of Canada. We are a trade member and supporter, so you'll often see us out at their conferences, um, sometimes sponsoring their awards, that type of thing. So we'll just go down a little bit more. Um, we often have workshops, sometimes uh, monthly, sometimes we go a few months without having one, but we do try to have, you know, four to five a year at least. Um, on various topics. 
We also have some album design software that you can subscribe to, which is $9.95 a month, and it's called Memento Pro. Um, I'm not going to get too much into that today because it is a little bit uh, intensive, but we will cover that on another day. Um, but you can order uh, you know, proof books, albums, uh, our Avenue books through there. And basically what it is is a design program to help you uh, lay out your album or your book and get it ordered through GTA Imaging. Um, okay, so another important page here, this is page seven, uh, talks about, you know, payment, you know, if there's errors, what to do, our hours of operation, um, all that type of stuff. Um, we also have got some production times listed here on the right hand side. Very important to note these things. Um, and I'll get into a little bit why, uh, get into why a little bit later, but basically, you know, just to help you organize your orders, if you want things to ship together, it's really important to note the turnaround times for the different days. Um, obviously, we're closed on certain holidays, which you can see over on the right, uh, sorry, left-hand side there. And so that was actually page six. And then just page seven is some more information. And um, so this big pur purple box on page seven here talks about our studio sample program. So we have, uh, we want you guys to be able to uh, show the product that you're selling. So we have a sample program. Um, you can either get 10, 15 or 20% off depending on the, what the product is. And basically all we ask is that for whatever it is that you're ordering, we just ask for a, your logo to be in sort of in the bottom right hand corner, uh, somewhere on the image so that uh, it's known that it is a studio sample. We allow for one studio sample per product per year. And um, and then when we do our album samples, which is actually 30% off the, the Renzo album, we just stamp studio, uh, studio sample in the back so you don't actually have to put your logo on that one. Um, we do also have monthly specials from January to uh, November. We don't do them in December just because we're busy with the Christmas rush and that type of thing. We want to focus on getting all these uh, products out. I'm just going to scroll back up here a little bit to over on the right hand side about shipping. Um, we have I think fairly reasonable rates for our shipping. Anything that's a hundred up to a hundred dollars is eleven dollars for shipping. Anything that's a hundred to hundred and fifty is eight dollars, and anything a hundred and fifty dollars and over is free. Some exceptions, of course, do apply, especially when it comes to oversized products or you know stuff that's very very heavy. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you can combine shipping. Uh, what we ask is that you place all your orders on the same day, and I'll get into the uh, shipping screen and when we get into rows a little bit later and um, so that way you can ship your orders together and, and save on the shipping we also do sh drop shipping to clients uh, when you choose drop shipping we do not include any paperwork the only thing that will identify GTA imaging is the label on the outside of the box and that's because we have to obviously put a return address on things yeah okay so i'm um, not going to get too much into the file setup uh, this is something that you should read through yourself we want to make sure that the color is going to come out properly so we're going to talk about doing test prints in a couple of minutes um, just to get a little bit further into uh, the pricing guide so again just read please read page eight thoroughly on your own time and page nine is also very informative. Um, so I'm not gonna go through every single page of the uh, pricing guide because it is about 80 pages long, but just to give you an idea on how it's set up, uh, you, you know, look at your table of contents, go to the page that you're looking for, and we, you will see the uh, different pricing and different sizes uh, for all of the items. And of course, if you have any questions about the pricing, you can certainly give us a call and we'd be more than happy to explain things um, okay so I'm gonna get out of this now so do also when you download your price list I highly recommend saving it to either your hard drive or perhaps to um, a Dropbox or something like that so it's always accessible um, I know that when I've been out with my clients and doing their in-person sales session I have the pricing list um, on my phone in a Dropbox folder so that if they're looking for something that is perhaps not on my main price list or the size isn't there, I can quickly go to it, do a quick calculation and figure out you know, what that's going to charge. Okay, so we are going to move on to um, staff and responsibilities. 
So I'm just gonna close up this window here and bring up another one. One second, please contact here we go so I'm going to actually email this out to everybody afterwards so you don't have to you know worry about writing it down um, but we have obviously different departments within <clears throat> within the company um, so if there's any questions about production status of your orders that type of thing you can email production at gtaimaging.com um, product and sales either hello at GTA imaging or Patricia at GTA imaging shipping can go to shipping billing to go to Clara um, and I also just wanted to show you on our website, let me get back over to, oh, I'm sorry, I thought I had the website up. Yes, I do. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I got confused. Anyways, um, so our website is pretty uh, detailed oriented here as well. Um, we have a wonderful web designer in house and under products, you can um, choose, you know, if you want to see a different product, if you don't have a picture of it, can't find a picture of it on Facebook, whatever, um, you can click on a category here and it will take you into uh, the sample images that we have and some information about the uh, products that we have as well. So you can see over here on the right hand side, this is the fine art giclée papers using our handy mill papers. And um, it talks about you know the different types of paper, that type of thing. You can also order paper sample packs from us, and I'll talk about how to do that in a little bit as well. Um, you know, we list all of our events on our website, our contact information. This is where I wanted to go about meeting the team. So we've got some wonderful people here. Andy Wan is our general manager, Patricia's customer service, Jennifer Texera is also customer service and marketing, and Clara does our billing for us. So you can read a little bit about them on our website. And also, we also encourage you, if you are in the Toronto area, you can book an appointment with us. Uh, you can meet with either Andy or Patricia, and they can uh, show you all the different products that we have in the lab. So if you're having some questions about what you might like to sell you're not sure different sizing that type of thing what does the product look like uh, we would love to have you in to uh, show you all that kind of stuff all right so moving on okay i'm going to talk a little bit now we have a facebook group so i'm just going to bring that up real quick one second please there we go gta imaging so if you haven't joined our Facebook group yet, it is called GTA Imaging Photo Group, and you can just request to join, and there's just a couple of questions you have to answer just to verify that you are a customer of GTA. If you haven't signed up, but you'd still like to join our group, you can do that as well, and just in the where it asks for the account number, just please say in process, and I will approve you. So the way the Facebook group works is all the posts are moderated. So basically what that means is I get a notification that there's a new question there and I go in, approve the post and then answer the question um, or direct it to the right person that can answer the question. And the only reason why we do this is so that we can make sure every single question gets answered. Uh, we don't like for anyone to, uh, you know, be hanging there. Also over on to the right hand side here, we've got popular topics. So you can always click on one of those and see what kind of questions have come up because perhaps somebody has already asked it. And you can have a search through the posts there and um, and uh, perhaps see if the answer is there. Uh, the only questions that we will not answer in the group is uh, questions about pricing. Um, and the reason for that is, is because although everybody in the group has been vetted, they are a photographer, they are not necessarily a customer of GTA. So we wanna make sure that only our customers uh, know our pricing, and that is to protect you as well. Um, we often will have brides, for example, call and ask us about pricing, and uh, we will not give them your pricing, your, what you're paying for our products, because we know you're obviously adding your business expenses and profit on top of that. Um, so that's pretty much it for the Facebook group. So please, I do encourage you to join it. It's, uh, you know, it's a pretty lively group and, uh, and uh, we encourage lots of conversation in there. Okay, so we also have a seminar coming up. Just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Here it is. 
So one of our partners is Sprout Studio, and that is run by Brian Caparici and Robert Noel. They are having a um, seminar, pardon me, <coughs> on October 17th at the lab, and it's free to attend, and you can go in once you join the Facebook group, and you can click on the Eventbrite link and uh, register that way. Basically, Sprout Studio is a uh, client management system. Uh, it's pretty it's a pretty neat program. You can go on to getsproutstudio.com and look at a demo of it before you, you know, if you want to come in and see a live demo of it, that would be awesome too. So just wanted to mention that. Okay, so that is the first part. That's part one done now. So I'm going to open up the floor and see if anybody has any questions. Let me just check here on the attendees. There we go. So if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to unmute your microphone. Don't everyone jump in at once. <laughs> but if there are no questions, I will move on to the next section. And I'm just looking in the chat here and I don't see anything in the chat. Okay. So, all right, so we will move on to um, the Rose software. Okay, so let me just close this window up. And so what I'm going to do is start by going back to that welcome email. Um, so as I mentioned, there's a link here that says Rose. So what you do is you click on that and it brings you to a website that looks like this. And then what you're going to do, um, just underneath it says, click here to download file. And it has identified that I'm using a Mac. And if you're using a PC, it will identify that you're using a PC. It will bring this launch.dmg file into your downloads. So you can see mine right there. And um, you just uh, double click it, install the software, and uh, away you go. It's pretty easy. All right, so let me get into that here now. Let me get rid of these. All right, so you get into the GTA imaging software. And so the very first screen you're going to see is um, a, a big splash screen, and it will talk about, you know, what specials we have, any information about shipping, that type of thing. So we've got some information down here at the bottom. There's our shipping um, pricing, as we talked about already. And over here on the uh, very right of the screen, oh, I don't know why this is paused, sorry. Oh. Okay, so screen is blank. So give me one second here. All right, Karen, is it working now? Great, sorry about that. I think I forgot to switch uh, controls there. Anyways, okay, so here's the rose screen. So I'll go over that again. So the very first part is the splash screen, talks about the specials that we have. And then just down at the bottom there, it talks just a little bit about our policies again. So just, you know, some more important information to read. And then over on the right-hand side is where you log in your information. All right. So um, you can see here I've got my studio name, my account number, email address, um, ad <clears throat> pardon me, shipping address, that kind of thing. Um, okay. So then once you're logged in, you can go over to start ordering. And all right, so let me start up at the beginning here. So the very first thing you'll see again is, you know, welcome to GTA Imaging. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, talks again a little bit. We have a album loyalty program, our shipping, go into our shipping screens again, um, and just some other information in there, uh, some information about resizing your images, um, that type of stuff. So the way rose is organized is by category so if there's any specials they'll usually be up at the top here um, or they will also be in with the category but basically it starts out we've got photo prints color corrected photo prints so your rtp means ready to print that means we don't touch anything uh, it's however you've cropped the image however you've colored the image is what we're going to print Color corrected photos, uh, we will take the time to uh, color correct in the images, so we will require an extra day or two on turnaround time for that. Um, then just some other products, you know, mouse pads, keychains, magnets, that type of stuff. And then we get into our books. So we have an Avenue book, 
We have proof books, soft cover book, bright book, booklets, and calendars. Those are all in there. And then we get into our cards. So, you know, Christmas cards, newborn, birth announcements, uh, that type of thing. Uh, we have boutique cards, which are, you know, fancier uh, designed cards, as you can see here. And um, some other different types of cards there as well. Uh, then we get into display mounts. So this is this type of product is basically like wall art, things that are meant to be on the wall. So you know we have uh, some pretty cool stuff like our HD metal prints, um, our float mounts, and there's you can see all the different sizes there and the, and the different um, options for hanging. And I just want to point out to the row system that you will download will actually have all the pricing on it. My copy just doesn't. Um, and that's fine. So, um, and then we get into folios. <coughs> Pardon me, which looks like this. So we have different types. You can do um, three image folio, folio. You can do um, two eight by 10 image folio. So there's lots of different options there. Um, we also have some cool marketing products like a banner stand and booklets and labels, that type of stuff. And then our presentation boxes. So we have basically, you know, our, our standard box with, you know, fabric cover, that type of thing. We have a wood presentation box. We have the Ashwood box. Um, so there's some really cool options there. And these boxes can be used for albums. They can be used for prints. Um, so pretty cool stuff there. And it just, again, into more some more boxes. Um, if you're not looking for a box, but perhaps just looking for a portrait case, we have these from Rice Studio Supply out of the United States. So we've, uh, we've got a bulk order of that kind of stuff. So you can get a nice, if you just got a few prints that you want to put in something nice, we can do that for you. We also have matted prints that you can order. Um, so you can actually have the prints put in the mats by us, or you can order them separately and do that yourself. And we also get into our uh, CD. We have CD cases, USB cases. We can do printed, oops, sorry, I skipped over that. We can do printed CDs as well. And then we get into our albums. So we've got our Renzo album in here. And it's not May anymore. <laughs> and uh, we also have our album designer here. So that's basically how it's set up. I know that was really fast, but I do encourage you to take some time to go through rows, look at the different categories. You know, um, you're not going to break anything. It's uh, pretty well, I shouldn't say I find it easy to use because I've been using it for years. But if you have any questions, you can ask in the Facebook group. You can give the lab a call. We will be happy to help you in that um, in that category. So, um, OK, so I'm going to start go into test prints. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. Um, if you've never ordered anything with us before, we really highly recommend that you do test prints. So we offer five eight by ten test prints. Um, and they're free of charge, free shipping. And basically what you can use these test prints for is to um, compare how our print is looking to your monitor. Um, color calibration is very important. It's also a very, can be a complicated thing to do, um, but we will help you figure that out. Some people use Color Monkeys, uh, Spider Pro to calibrate their monitors. Some people have noticed that their prints look darker than the screen, and that could be one of two things. It could be possibly that your screen is up too bright, so your prints are coming back a bit darker, so you want to lower the brightness on your screen. Or it could be that, um, you know, if it's just a shade darker, it could just be that, you know, your monitor is a light source and your print is not. Um, so when you're doing test prints, you want to look for, you know, the, the brightness of the image as well as the quality of the color. If you're noticing that your prints are too blue, then you probably need to make adjustment in your color settings or if they're coming out too pink or too green or whatever the case may be. Um, so you can give us a call. We will help you through that and we will, uh, you know, make it, make it so that uh, you can print with us and get great color as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so a couple of things which just are not included with test prints are color correction. Um, and the uh, fine art paper swatch kit. So you can order, um, you can also order the Renzo swatch kit 
Um, those are all the different fabrics for the uh, album covers and we also have genuine leather that you can order. Okay, so to order a chest print, so you're gonna load your images. I should have done this before. So I'm gonna, you can load your images into rows. So you're going to click add image folder and you're gonna find your images. And I've got GTA test prints here. And I'm just gonna open that up and there they are. And so it's pretty simple after this, you're just gonna drag and drop the images and you're gonna hit add to cart. And you can also select all five at the same time and add them to the cart. And there it goes. So once that's done, you're gonna do view cart. So now you're in the shopping cart screen. And you can see all the, the images are over here on the left-hand side. And if you're thinking, if you're feeling like maybe the cropping is a little off, because although it's an eight by 10 and I've sized my pictures to eight by 10, there is the white border across the top and the left-hand side. So you can actually go back and you can move your image up and down a little bit and you know make it however you feel you would like to see it. And save, and then you can go back to viewing your part. So once you have done this, you are going to hit complete and send order. You're going to put your information here on the um, account. Make sure you put in your account number, that type of thing. You're gonna hit next. Mentioned you can ship via Canada Post for free. If you wanted FedEx, that would pick up cave art which is located in burlington and imagine that which is located in whitby um, and you can you can pick up at those locations for all of your orders not just your test prints so i'm just going to hit pick up a gta and i'm going to hit next and um this is not my real mastercard number <laughs> So you are going to have to put in some credit card information and um, save save for future orders, but uh, your card will not be charged for these test prints. Um, and also when you do place an order, this row system doesn't charge your credit card. What we do is when the order is ready to ship, that's when we charge your credit card and we do that through our POS system, which is separate and you'll receive uh, an email with the invoice attached. Um, okay, so that's pretty much the test print. So after this, you would hit next and it would then upload your order. So I'm not gonna do that now because I don't actually wanna send anything to them at this point. So I'm gonna cancel out of that. And does anybody have any questions before I move on? Does anybody have any questions about the test prints? Okay, I don't see anybody typing anything into the chat. Okay, so I'm going to move on. If you do have a question, please type it in the chat there and we will get that uh, going. Um, okay, so let's see what have we got next. So we talked about the test prints. Um, so I am going to talk a little bit about um, just ordering products. So I'm gonna go back to the start screen here. And what I'm going to do is, excuse me one sec, is I'm just going to go to the shopping cart and I'm just going to clear all this out. So we're going to start over fresh. Okay. So, um, so one thing I, sh I should mention. So when, if you want to order a couple of different products, so let's say you want to order some photographic prints, you want to order a canvas and you want to order a um, float mount. You do have to place them as separate orders because when you switch categories okay I'm still in test prints here when you switch into a different category I think I cleared the card so it doesn't matter right now um, okay sorry so when you switch categories it's going to give you a message saying that you need to send the order that the order will be deleted so you have to send the order in so this is where I was talking about looking at the turnaround times for products and seeing what kind of images or what kind of orders you can ship together. <coughs> so 
So, uh, you know, if you are ordering prints and a canvas, so prints are about one to two days and a canvas is about five to seven days. So those are two items you could ship, ask to have shipped together. And then the prints will be done. They'll wait for the canvas to be done and then they will ship everything together. And that way you're only charged one shipping charge. Okay, so I'm going to talk, just go into how to order. Um, let's just go into how to order some prints. So for example, it's pretty similar for like what we just did with the test prints, except here you're gonna pick your size. Um, so as you can see for our ready to print photo prints, you have your standard sizes. You can do prints that have a border, which are just four by sixes. 4x6, 5x5, 5x7s, 4x5s. You can do panoramic images, so you know those nice long uh, horizontal images. And we do have some packages, so if you happen to do school photos, dance photos, sport photos, and you want to order, you know, something like this that has, um, you know, 5x7 and four wallets all on the same sheet, you can you can do that through there as well. Um, if you wanted to add some packaging, you could go into the packaging side and uh, do that as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back into here and I'm just gonna order, um, I'm just gonna pretend to order some eight by tens. So I'm just gonna choose the luster. And again, it's very simple, just drag and drop, add to the cart, drag and drop, Add to the cart and then when you view the cart you will see um, that your images are there so now that we've got this up here uh, I just wanted to show you on the right hand side we have some different options so we do have a $10 minimum for ordering <clears throat> otherwise a setup fee of three dollars and fifty cents applies um, so just make sure that um, once you've reviewed your order you're just going to click through these different things so you want to say yes I reviewed my order make sure everything is correct um, if you have changed your address uh, that you will email us to make sure that we know so and then in here we have our turnaround time so this is just specific for prints um, you know 48 to 72 hours if you want mounting it's an extra 24 hours and any lamination would be extra as well um, and any special instructions and um, and then here's about the combining of shipping so if this is your first order um, and you're gonna say have two more orders you're gonna do combine three rows orders and indicate that this is part one part two part three etc and just uh, you can name your job as well so one thing to make mention to so if you've got your um, order in rows you haven't sent it yet um, make sure that you do not move or edit your files um, that you've already got in rows ready to order because rows will not pick up on the changes if you move your file from one directory to another and then it goes to upload it's not going to be able to find your files so just make sure that you are not ordering anything until everything is absolutely ready to go on your side you've done all your Photoshop that type of thing okay pretty important stuff there all right, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, some of our more specialty products, such as a canvas. So I'm just going to go to the canvas area here. Canvas gallery wrap. Come on. Oh, and so this is the message. If you change catalogs, your current order will be lost. Do you wish to continue? So in my case, yes, I'm okay with that. So we have um, a number of different sizes of canvases. And what you're going to notice is, so let's just pick um, 11 by 14. So our canvases wrap around the sides. Um, we offer uh, borders, mirror wrapping, that type of thing. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, me, because I'm kind of extra picky, I like to make sure that my image is going to fit properly and that, you know, for example, her feet aren't going to kind of get cut off, that the image is gonna wrap nicely, that type of thing. So we have templates that you can use to make sure that uh, your image is going to be perfect. So if you go back to your welcome email, here we go. We've got this uh, button here that says product templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna bring us to the GTA Imaging website. And so you'll just have to look for the type of product that you're ordering. So we've got the canvas gallery wrap here. 
Um, so you just go ahead and click on download template. And then you can open it in Photoshop. One second here. All right, so I'm going to find the 11 by 14 and open that up with Photoshop, which I thought I had open already. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so it's gonna open up the template. There it goes. And so you can see in Photoshop, you've got these blue lines. If you're not, if you open the file and the blue lines are not there, you can just go to view and um, show guides right there. Um, that's on a Mac, on PC, I'm sure there's something very similar. Um, so then you've got, um, this is, this is the template. So the inside part of the rectangle is where your image will print. And then the outside part is where the image is going to wrap. So if I bring up an image, so I'm going to bring up that one there that I had a second ago. And that one here. Okay, and so you can basically you just take this and you're going to or that is you're going to drag and drop the image onto the template. And then depending on how you want this to look. So what I would do, this is what I do, but it's basically I'm going to take this and size it to what I want, which is in here like this. And sometimes what I do is uh, I can actually, I'm not going to go through the whole mirroring process, but I actually like to mirror it in Photoshop myself. And you can find some YouTube videos about how to do that, or you can um, ask us to do it. So in that case, if you wanted us to do it, you would select the option for mirroring in rows and we would do the mirroring. And the mirroring basically just means that, that we're gonna take part of the image and we're gonna extend it to all the way out so that it will mirror around the edges and wrap. Um, some people like to just do borders, some people like to, um, well, there's just really two options, the, the mirroring and the borders. Okay, so go back into rows here. And so that's just a little special note about canvases. So it's not showing here, um, but on your rows, there should be an option for the mirroring or the um, black border. Okay, so that's a little bit about the canvases. Um, we also have templates for cards. We have templates for our albums, our album covers, our boxes, all that type of stuff. So again, we highly recommend that you use our templates so to make sure that the sizing is correct. Um, so just before we go on, is there any questions about any of that? Okay, I don't see anybody typing anything. Let me just check in here. Nope, everything looks good. Okay, so we already talked about, just looking at my list here, we already talked about the shopping cart screen and turnaround times and combining orders. Um, so the only other thing is sometimes Rose is a little bit finicky and it will crash and it won't load anymore and that type of thing. So um, there is ways to fix it. You can go to our website. Pardon me, let me find, there it is. There we go. And if you go under support and you just look for my GTA imaging rows will not start and you can follow the instructions um, to basically get rid of all the cached files and that type of thing and reinstall your uh, software. Keep in mind that when you do do this, it uh, will delete anything that you've got in there. So if you're working on an order, you will have to restart the order again. 
if you've done all these steps and it's still not working, you can give the lab a call and we can do a remote session with you to figure out what's going on. Um, I can answer some questions in Facebook when it comes to this kind of stuff, but it is really best to either call the lab or go through this process. So yeah, so basically let's just go back to our outline here. Whoops, sorry, wrong page. And um, and we've pretty much gone over all of these items here at this point. Um, we will be doing some more webinars about uh, you know how to order an album, how to order the different books and that type of thing and some tutorials that are going to go on our YouTube page. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Does if at this time, if anybody has any questions, if they want to unmute themselves, um, if they have any questions about maybe not even something that we've seen here, but uh, something else you might have a question about, the floor is completely open, and uh, we'll leave that open for about five minutes. But otherwise, uh, that's pretty much come to the end of our seminar, our webinar, and I hope that everybody found it very enjoyable and informative. And uh, again, be very happy to answer any questions that you may have. So I'll just uh, open up the floor and if there's any questions, please ask away. When is the welcome email being sent? Uh, Karen has asked. So that usually comes, so for example, if you filled up your account today online, then you should be getting your email within 24 to 48 hours. We actually, <clears throat> what we do, sorry, <clears throat> it's not an automated system because we want to vet every single application that comes through because as I mentioned earlier we do have brides uh, who will try to get our pricing or just you know uh, clients uh, photographer clients it's usually within two business days um, but typically you know one full day does anybody else have any other questions I feel like I should sing or something. <laughs> okay, well, if there isn't any questions, um, I well, will. I, more, I actually okay. have a question that's only related to me. I signed up about a month ago. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure, like I just didn't really know the procedure and I just was really busy, so I didn't have a chance to call. So I just do you know. Do you remember getting the welcome email or you don't think no. you got it at all? I don't think I got it. Okay, do you, uh, have you checked your junk mail? Uh, no, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> okay, so what we can do is um, we can send it again. Um, we do find that often these emails go into people's junk mail, and you know, we're not exactly sure why. I think it's maybe because it's coming from info at gtimaging.com, um, but we can certainly. Um, okay, well, I got the, I, I got the uh, email for the meeting or the. Yeah or whatever but I, anyway that would be yeah. great if you could resend it or just take yeah. a note it takes me a phone call so. no problem i'm just going to grab a pen i just want to get your company information back. okay what's your company name it's a bowen co sorry can you spell that b-o ampersand c-o okay and um, I'm not sure if I use Karen at Computer Master or if I used Karen at Bowen Co. Okay. So Karen at. Okay, we will. Uh, I'll get them to have a look for it for you. Okay. okay awesome. I appreciate that. You oh, did, you my did a great job, by the way. I like I could listen to you all day. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, don't tell that to my kids. <laughs> All right, so Dave is asking if we offer album design. We don't offer design in-house. I will touch upon this. I actually meant to do that a little earlier. We do have a designer in the Rose software. So let me bring it up under um, the Renzo album. And again, there's some instructions along the left-hand side. Let me make sure everybody is seeing that. Yes, great, okay. Okay, so, sorry, instructions are on the second tab over. And basically the way it works is you select your album size, 
And I'm just gonna go through this really, really quick. You select your cover options. So let's, for example, let's just do brown linen on this one. And then, um, you know, if you wanna have a photo panel cover or something else, you turn the page and then you get into your pages. So here you can basically drag and drop what you would like to see. So I'm just gonna do this really, really quick. And this is a tutorial that we're going to be developing a bit, and we'll go through this in a little bit more detail. Whoops, I already got that picture in there. And then once you've gone through all of your spreads, you would then add it to the cart. Um, we do recommend that if you're going to use a, the in designer, in sorry, in rose designer, make sure that you kind of do it all in one full swing. You've got your pictures organized. You kind of know which layout you want to use, that type of thing. If you have software such as the Momentum Pro that I mentioned earlier or Fundy or Smart Albums, we recommend that you do the design in uh, your software. Let me just go back here. And then what you would do is you would go into um, this one here that doesn't say design here. And you then would, you know, again, choose your cover and then you would get into the pages. So let's just say it's gonna be a six by eight. And you could literally, you would export all your files out of your software, bring them into rows, and then just literally drag and drop them into there. Now, obviously this is not an album page, but just to give you an idea. Um, and then, you know, you're gonna add it to the cart, go on to the next page, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope that answers your question, Dave. Does anybody else have any questions? Okay, well, if nobody else has any questions, I am going to sign off. I just, again, want to thank everybody for attending. Uh, please do join the Facebook group if you have not yet already. And um, you've already signed up for this webinar, and we will be adding you to our main email list so that you'll get notified of our monthly specials and what's going on with GTA Imaging. And uh, hope that you can join us for some future seminars, uh, webinars that we'll be having and that type of thing. So again, thank you very much, and I uh, hope everybody has a great day. Thanks.